Oh, I'm gonna get sick of this trunk real quick. Done and cheered up nice. So now I'm actually gonna take and get this wiring all sorted out. This doesn't fit the contour of the floor because this brace was installed here. So I'm gonna take and uh, I'm gonna take and redo this a little bit. So here's actually where I got it kind of at right now. I have to cut all these zip ties nice and flush. But this wire right here, sorry, this wire right here actually runs direct from the battery to the fuel pump. And I do not want any chafing or anything to happen. So I'm going to put some uh, wire loom on this entire wire from front to back. There's main power feeding that wiring harness back there. I just want this to be protected. So if you don't know what loom is, this is wire loom. I bought it on Amazon. I ordered it last night and it was here this morning. So I'm gonna put this to protect the wire. Good enough. Good enough. All right, so here's the splice into the trunk. I gotta clean up this rust from the friggin' mouse nest that was back here. Yay! This looks like it's a factory wire. This is something that's cut. I don't know. I'm gonna leave that one alone. Plug's not going to anything. I'll leave it off to the side. I can repair that at some other time. I know the car currently runs. So, for now, I think I just want to see if I can run a new wire, possibly. 12 gauge wire. Let's see if I have any. Alright, so I went and got some stuff ready. I took and I cut and stripped the wire. I'm going to be putting a fuse in here because there is no fuse. I just want some kind of safety net. So, I'm going to put my shrink tubing on. My wire is nice and twisted. Oh, I'm gonna get sick of this trunk real quick. I'm gonna take and just get a little bit of dielectric grease in there just to protect it. All right. Now that that's all on there, I'll let that cool for a moment. I went and got a piece of loom. I want this to wrap off of this wire onto this spool here so everything's nice and protected. Let me take it. So this is all nice and bundled, not going anywhere, and protected. Pardon the mess. Okay, 
All right, this is a pain. All right, so I'm gonna take and shut the camera off so I can swear a little. Now I'm just with the conduit all run, not conduit, but with everything all run here. I just want it to be all secured, out of the way of any footpaths, and tied off so that way it's not disturbed. Zip tie cutter somewhere in the house. Good enough. Same path the factory wiring harness took. Alright, time to move around. Alright. So now, that comes all the way up, goes down into the firewall, and vanishes into the factory harness. You can still see it throughout, but I have everything all nice and it looks terrible. I hate wiring harnesses on cars. They're so messy, but... This is uh, much neater than it was. We've got everything's all organized heading back into the trunk. Everything's tied off. Coming right up into this nice fuse that I put in place. Now the only thing's gonna be if, uh, if the car is gonna start afterwards. That's going to be the key. Hopefully I didn't screw anything up. Also, I got to address that. So now I'll be ready to put the carpet that's hanging up over there that dried from getting pressure washed the other day. I'm going to be full. We'll come back out here tomorrow night and get the carpet in here. Hopefully get this thing moving right along. All we got left is the seats. Got the brackets on the way. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Can't wait.